G'day guys, what's cracking? Two Aussie here again. So today we're hitting Macca's and we're gonna make the ultimate McMuffin. Oh my God. This thing is gonna have everything on it. It's gonna be the works or the lot McMuffin. So I'm gonna order the BLT. So we'll get some lettuce and tomato and I'll have the bacon. And we're gonna get the chicken McMuffin and add some other bits and bobs on it. Anyway, folks, I don't know if you can see that in the back there. I went to Aldi and got myself a tent. So we'll be doing a little review on that. It's supposed to be pretty easy to pop up and disassemble and to pack up. So folks, who knows where that'll lead to, but that'll be probably the next thing we do. A little tent review, a little something off topic. But for now, we're off to see the Redhead and McStooge. And please know, I got 25% off my order. Only reason I'm doing this, I'm not going to spend that much on an Ultimate McMuffin. So folks, that's what's doing today. Let's head in, grab the goods, and build back better. Come with. And we're back, babies, and we got the goods. Now, I might have made a critical mistake here. I didn't actually <laughs> check what's in the bag before I left, and it was a bit of a complicated order. We went with a small meal with the McChicken. So we've got our hashi. you love to see it. And our serviettes. I reckon they will come in handy. There's a grill slip on the old McChicken. Feels nice and thick and nice and chunky. So I reckon I've got that right. Add beef sausage, add egg. you love to see it. And a good old BLT. So... It's looking like it's going to pan out. No need to double check. And our little latte. We went with a latte today. You do love to see that. So, folks, time to build back better. Let's unwrap them and check them out. So, this guy's going to have tomato and lettuce. Now, it is going to be the ultimate. So, there's your, first of all, your McChicken. Or your chicken <laughs> has got a McChicken patty, so not really a my bad moment. Your chicken McMuffin. So we got some egg. Oh, yeah, there's that sauce, of course. The old McChicken sauce blends in beautifully with the egg. Nice and white. You love to see it. Egg. We've got a sausage on there. Now, the old BLT has... Zip bacon, so we don't have to worry about we didn't have to worry about putting bacon on that. Thought I'd get a small meal so we can put the hash brown on it as well. Grab a drink and not not have to pay extra for a like separately for a hash brown. You know what I'm saying? Sauce is there much sauce? We need a. This is going to probably be a bit of a super spreader, I reckon. Jeez, that's a pretty scabby piece, don't you think? Oh, it's all folded up. Let's fix it up and. For the amount I paid for that extra, well, amount you pay for usually bacon, that is a pretty sad looking piece. But let's spread it out, make it look good. So, of course, now our fingers are all greasy, but it ain't cheesy. Now, the hard part's going to be getting this sauce, and I want that. But that's got sauce as well, so I guess it's a much of a muchness. Let's see. Yeah, lettuce, tomato. Actually, I didn't see the tomato. You know what? I reckon I don't want to waste that. I can eat that just with the sauce later on. Where's the tomato? Oh, yeah, we got tomato. Oh, no, we all, almost made a critical mistake. Got to get the old hash brown on it. In it. Let's whack that on. And Bob's your uncle. This time he's your uncle. <laughs> That's a pretty chunky... Decent looking, or oh, there's your tomato popping out the side there. That is a pretty decent looking burger or McMuffin. My bad, that is a my bad moment. I reckon it's time to stop jabbering on. Whack it in me gob and see how it hits. Hash brown sticking out both sides. Let's do it. And on first bite, I can't lie, 
that is amazing. I am totally vibing with that. I love it. That hash brown gives it a nice little crunch factor and the lettuce, of course, together. And the McChicken patty, nice crunch factor, bursting with flavours. Folks, if you get a 20, 25%, one of those off your order, do yourself a favour. Give this a crack. Now, with that being said, it cost 17 fibby for the whole kitten caboodle, the whole box and dice, the BLT, the chicken with the extras, and the small meal with the little latte, but you can do your boo-boo, get a coffee, cappuccino, cup of tea, whatever. Float your boat. Seventeen fifty for the whole lot, everything we got. But with the 25% off, and it is a great little discount, $13.10. So all I paid for all this lot was $13.10. Tomatoes slip sliding away. Better stop jabbering on and whacking me go. Doesn't that look glorious, if you like that sort of thing? And you know me, folks, I love me tomato, a bit of salad on there, lettuce and whatnot. Plenty of McChicken sauce, even though a lot of it stayed on that bun. It's double the amount because it's on the BLT as well. So we already got what it's supposed to be on the BLT. We didn't want it to be too much of a super spreader. And we don't want it to be overpowered by McChicken sauce, of course. Now there's probably plenty of you folks out there that think that's probably disgusting. It ain't bussin'. But I actually wondered how it would go too. And no word of a lie, that is phantasmagorical. Now, if it didn't have the sausage muff, the sausage patty on it, I don't reckon it'd hit so good. And the tomato, I reckon that's what's really given it that outstanding flavour and taste. That sausage patty is always loaded with nice taste but of course who knows what's in it <laughs> to make it taste like that but that's a winner do yourself a favor don't pay full price when you've got a discount and before these things disappear because they probably will after a month so give it a crack that is worth trying i can't deny it And as you can see, the struggle is real to wrap the old laughing gear around it. So I'll be full as a gook after this. Now, with that being said, it's time to get on to today's Bevragino. Today's Bevragino is proudly brought to you by McCafe from the Redhead Mixed Stooge at Mecca's. Small latte with my meal. When I got the McChicken, I could have got it with the BLT. It doesn't matter. Either way, we got a small a latte. Time to have a red hot swig. Yamas. Oh yeah, even the coffee's on point. So folks, I couldn't be any happier with this. It has turned out much better than I thought it would. I thought it would just be average. Well worth sticking in your gob. Now, just on a side note, I don't know when I'll do it or if I'll do it, but I am planning, like I said, with that tent in the back there. I'm going to leave it in the back just until I figure out what I'm going to do. So if you see it in another video, you'll know why. <laughs> but we might do a little review. I'm going to go to Lake Wallace, which is a bit further out here at Willarawang, my favorite place out in the wild, wild west. There's a camping area by the lake. Might head out there, set it up, do a little video. Do a little review and see what's doing with the old tent. Four-man tent, $149. Got it. It was on special last week, but there was still some there. So I thought I'd grab one. And we may go off adventuring and sampling food from other areas. Staying overnight in the tent. Who knows what will happen? The world is my oyster. So folks, stay tuned for that. Whether it happens tomorrow or the next day or next week, it will happen. So guys, that's your... 
ultimate breakfast McMuffin. It is a doozy and well worth a try. And like I said, I ain't jive talking you. I like it. It's a beauty. And for that reason, I'm actually going to give it an instant. I'm loving it. I'm giving it five stars out of five for taste. So guys, that's me out of here. I'll say adios. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, you can never be too Aussie. Huru, stay fresh. Highly recommend it. But that's up to you. You do you, boo-boo. It may not be your jam.